Hello, good day, and welcome everyone to this week's Make It Snappy session. You here with Yashin from Moderna OneSolve, and the feature we will be covering is the Inventor Sheet Metal Hem Tool. So the Hem Tool is a great feature to quickly uh, remove sharp corners or edges on your sheet metal components, maybe improve part stiffness, or it can also be utilized to fasten two sheet metal components together. So how does this tool work? Uh, what you need to have is of course some flanges and your sheet metal component modeled up and then we can actually fire the hem tool from the ribbon. Once I start the hem tool you firstly need to assign your type, in this case I'll use the default single hem and then apply it to a shape or edge. So all I have to do is head over to my sheet metal component and select an edge. So you'll see in the preview the hem take up the entire flange edge and just to see how it behaves I'm going to traverse to the front view and zoom in a little bit. So your hem profile is created. What we can do in this dialog box is define what side it's going to be placed on so we can flip, o flip it over by using the edge button. Over and above that we can define the size. So the size has the thickness of the sheet metal plate incorporated into it as a parameter. This is this is just so you can ensure that you are following the correct bending format. So over here I can increase the gap size okay, just by putting in a value uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and let me increase it to 2 so we can actually see that. So the gap value is the horizontal distance from the edge of the hem to the plate itself. Okay, so I'll put that, that back to 0 0.5 so that increases the horizontal distance of the hem. The next one is the length. So how far is the hem traveling down? Once again, the sheet metal thickness of the plate is incorporated, but I can change the size by increasing the value. Okay, as I increase the value, what you'll notice is the horizontal distance increase in length of that hem. Okay, second to that is after defining the size and shape of your hem, what you need to do is define how it's going to be positioned on your edge. So currently when we select the edge, it takes up the entire length of the flange that it is placed on. In your dialog box, there is some more or are some more additional options. Just by expanding the drop down, you'll be able to define the extents. Okay, so the travel distance of the hem. The first option is edge, the second is width. Okay. When I choose width and have the centered option on, it aligns the hem to the center of the edge. And from there, I can define from that center distance how far is it going to travel on either side, simply by changing this width parameter. So in this case, I'll have it at 120 millimeters on either side and 60 millimeters to the left, 60 millimeters to the right measured from the center point of the flange it will create my hem as you can see in the preview uh, over and above that what we can do is change the extent to offset the offset allows me to define faces or edges or work features to set my hem distance away from that edge so i'll select the first edge and i will have that distance maybe 20 millimeters away from the edge that i've selected very similar to the first selection, you can do it for the opposing end. So select another feature, or face, edge, vertice, can, it can even be a work plane. And select that opposite edge over there, and increase the distance I want my hem away from that edge. So that will be 20 millimeters, and it will update. Okay, the last option in terms of defining the length or extent of your hem is to use the from two. When I select the from two, you have to make two definitions, okay? The starting position as well as the end. In this case, what I'm going to do is use the opposite flange to define the length of my hem by simply selecting one edge of the flange and then selecting the opposite face. And you'll notice that my hem now takes up the same size or profile as the flange located on the other side. Once I'm satisfied with my inputs, I can simply select apply and you'll notice that you have your hem feature created. 
So what I can do is just to show you the different styles of using the hem tool is I'm going to close up those placement options and change my hem style to a teardrop and select an edge I want to apply it on. I'm going to head over to the right view and we can have a look at the hem style that's been created. So the teardrop hem has been created. We can define the radius okay, by simply uh, inputting a value and I'll make that multiplied by my default bend radius times 2 and you'll see the radius or turn of the teardrop increase and it increases overall size of the hem. By defining the angle we actually define the length portion of the hem profile being created. Take note this cannot be less than 180 degrees it will not be able to compute but I can change that angle and as I change the angle you'll notice that my hem profile change in size so it's now going 220 degrees around once I'm satisfied with those inputs I can select apply and let's have a look at another example so moving on to the shorter flange um, the inputs are exactly the same all I have to do is define my profile and in this case we have a completely roll style hem simply by selecting the edge it will give me the profile shape that's been created and I can control its shape and size by using either the radius or angle. By increasing or decreasing the radius, you'll notice the size of the hem updates or change. And I can also manipulate the angle. I'll make this one 260 and you'll, you'll see that, that the angle increases. So essentially the overall length that it's going about will adjust. One more example, maybe go back to 220 and it's a lot shorter. Once I'm happy with those inputs, I can select apply and that is the rolled hem option that's been created. So for the last one, just to showcase the double hem, uh, the selection process is exactly the same. Define your style, change that to double, select your edge and there we go. We have a double rolled hem uh, traveling on the seam of my sheet metal flange. In this case, the operations to change the size are exactly the same. You have your sheet metal rule that's incorporated and simply by changing the parameters, you'll notice that the hem adjusts. So the gap distance is, of course, from this point of the hem to its inner edge. Okay, and what I'll do is maybe make that 0 0.9 and you'll notice that it adjusts to the right hand side. So that's a horizontal length adjustment. If I make that something slightly bigger, we'll see uh, more accurate representation of it. Um, over and above that, you can control the length. So the value going down, uh, thickness, multiply that by maybe 9, and that will increase the distance. Change that value to 10, and our hem distance increases vertically upwards. Once you're satisfied with your inputs, you can select apply, and that will be your double rolled hem that has been created. So the hem tool is really efficient and easy to use, quite easy um, because Inventor is very smart. Hope you guys enjoyed that session. Please stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more content.